Hi, my name is Steve Menster, Vice President of Sales and Marketing here at Acronix. I'm excited to share with you a demonstration of our new high performance 7 nanometer Speedster 70 FPGAs. Speedster 70 FPGAs offer a revolutionary new architecture that Acronix developed to address the highest performance data acceleration challenges. These devices have high speed I.O. interfaces, including 112 gigabits per second CERTES, 400 gigabit Ethernet, and PCI Express Gen 5. They also include GDDR6 memory interfaces capable of supporting 4 terabits per second of external memory bandwidth and DDR4 operating at 3200 megabits per second. In the core of the Speedster 70 FPGAs, there are Chronix proprietary machine learning processors, or MLPs, which perform high-speed math functions and support a wide range of numeric formats, including floating point, integer, and block floating point. Finally, to tie all of these together, Acronix developed the FPGA industry's first two-dimensional network on chip, which routes data from any of the high-speed interfaces to the core fabric within the FPGA at 2 gigahertz without consuming any of the FPGA logic resources. Now let me turn it over to Katie Purcell, an Applications Engineering Manager here at Acronix, who will walk you through the demonstration. Thanks, Steve. Hi, I'm Katie Purcell. Welcome to our lab where we're working on bring up, validation, and characterization of our Speedster 7T FPGA. I'm joined by Trina Ray, who's going to be bringing us through the DDR4 demo today. Thanks, Katie. Let's get started with the demo then. In this demo, we will show you how easy it is to build and configure the DDR4 memory interface in the Acronix tool suite program the Speedster 7T 1500 FPGA on the Vectorpath Accelerator card, train the memory interface, and run a test design reading and writing to memory. Let's take a look at the demo design. The Speedster 7T FPGA has a DDR4 by 16 memory interface supporting the maximum data rate specification of 3200 megabits per second. Inside the FPGA Fabric logic, we have a training state machine which manages the DDR4 Phi controller initialization and training, one packet generator that generates random memory addresses and data, and a packet checker that compares the read and write data in the external DDR4 memory. The first step is to train the DDR4 memory interface. The training state machine is connected to a network access point or NAP which then connects to the two-dimensional NOC and down to the DDR4 subsystem. This is used for polling and training of the DDR4 interface before data transactions can be issued to the memory. Next, the packet generator generates random address and data packets and connects to the DDR4 memory interface through a NAP and the 2D NOC. Data is now written into the DDR4 memory. Once data is written, the packet checker reads the data back and validates it matches against the expected data stream. The benefit to designers is that all of the interface logic is routed across the 2D NOC and no RTL code is required and this ensures a seamless data flow to and from the external DRAM. Now let's perform the demo with the Acronix tool suite. First, using the IO Designer Toolkit, we will configure the DDR4 subsystem clocks to the desired frequencies. Next, we will configure the memory interface. The Vectorpath Accelerator card comes with Micron DDR4 memory components, which supports by 16 data width each at 3200 megabits per second. Let's select the right memory device type. Next, select the specific device, data rate and desired data width. Once this is complete, we will save this file and import the FPGA netlist. The last step is to compile the design and generate the FPGA programming bitstream. Let's program the FPGA. Next, run the DDR4 memory calibration and training sequence.
Finally, 8000 packets are successfully written and validated by the FPGA logic while streaming across the 2D NOC. We have successfully demonstrated the DDR4 memory interface on Speedster 7T1500 using the Vectorpath Accelerator card. That was a great demonstration of the Speedster 7T FPGA device. If you would like to learn more about Speedster 7T FPGAs and set up a meeting with a technical representative, please contact Acronix today. Thanks for watching.